Welcome to our telecast. In our telecast, we're going to do part two of the title called Earth's Final Judgment. And the reason I came back immediately to do a part two, because I want to take my time and digest and pull back a little bit and do my best to explain to you that it's time for you to wake up. Because I said from Romans 13, 11, I have said from several chapters and for the last several years that the glory of God has been sounding the alarm. And one of the things that stood out in part one of earth's final judgment is when the Lord said that he's about to rattle the world. Listen to what the Lord said. And let me make this very clear. That when God Almighty, and there is only one God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, when the Lord speaks in that fashion, when the Lord speaks that way, he is simply saying to all of humanity and to all of civilization, I will rattle the world like it's never been rattled. And in that rattling, there will be a shaking. Not only a shaking, but there will be a great sound in that rattling. You need to understand that God technically came forward in part one of the title Earth's Final Judgment and simply is put the whole world on the clock. The God is about to release his wrath. He said, I'm about to rattle the world. Then he goes on to speak and talk concerning the four that are down in the Euphrates River. That uh, they're soon going to be released in the near future. And I mean, you better wake up quickly. Because when God says soon, it's sooner than you think so. And I have been saying that we will be raptured. And you ought to thank God for his son Jesus that purchased your soul at the cross. Not only purchased your soul, but his precious blood. Not only cleansed you, purified, sanctified, consecrated you, set you apart, water your soul, purify your soul, and has set you in place to be positioned for the rapture. In this title, part two of the earth's final judgment, there was another thing after the Lord said that soon the four that are down below the Euphrates River will be released. God said after that, he said, then the one that will come out of the bottom of the sea or out of the bottom of the pit, that one will be released. And the Lord said to me, Apollyon. God said to me, Apollyon. And what I want to say to you is this. Listen to what God just said. Because the world takes things lightly. The grace of God said, was coming, it's the mark of the beast. What is he trying to say to you and I? He is simply saying that he's giving the globalists, the left, the Pope, the World Health Organization, the World Economic Forum, the UN, and everyone that is affiliated with the left. And then he is showing me and saying to me, Psalms number 9, verse 17. The glory of God is not only sounding the alarm, but in these moments going forward in the fall, I said to you that when we get to the fall, the world changes drastically. That was the word. And God is saying that everything will drastically change because he's about to rattle the world. And also what you're going to see is the one come out of the bottomless pit. And also before that, he said, the four that are down in the Euphrates River and the glory of God said to me, 
the giants in the Netherlands, but you're going to see the wrath of God. You're going to see being Jack Christ. And immediately when the church goes up in the rapture, I want to say something to you. They talk about that the first three and a half years are three and a half years where there will be peace and good times on the earth. But I got news for you. As soon as we clear the clouds, they will force the mark of the beast. And God said, and the rise of the Islamic mystique and the Mahdi on the earth. You need to understand that God said, in the title, prepare, position yourself for the rapture. The world is about to be rattled. The world is about to be flipped upside down. But the church and the believers and the saints are simply going to be celebrating. And there's going to be a celebration in eternity, in paradise, with that great cloud of witness. But God is simply saying another thing. He said that also every mountain and every island will flee and move from its original place. The earth's rotation, earth's final shaking moment. And the Lord said one word to me, the orbit. He said the word orbit mean the galaxy, the planets. Not only the planets, the stars, the sun and the moon, and not only a moment of darkness, and that's why God said the word orbit, because the Lord is saying, look what the Lord said. He said, in the star, wormwood falling from the sky. Look what the Lord just said. In this part two of the title, Earth's Final Judgment, the star, wormwood falling from from the sky. Let me make this very clear. That God. Is simply. As I have said. Not once. Not twice. But several times. I have said. That God's going to give them. Everything. They want. He's going to allow them. To establish everything. And that's why I've been saying for four years. It doesn't matter who wins. The bottom line is, there is no reversal. It's simply, time is short. But wait a minute, I said over and over again, time is no longer short. Because the grace of God said something to me. And he spoke to me from Revelation chapter 9 just now. Let us turn to Revelation chapter 9, and I had no intentions to go there, but since the Lord spoke, let me read to you what it says in Revelation chapter 9. Then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star falling from heaven to the earth. Exactly. Exactly what the Lord just said. God said that the star wormwood will fall from the sky. You will see it fall. Look what it, oh, look how it opens up. The Lord led me to this chapter. He said, then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star falling from heaven to the earth. To him was given the keys to the bottomless pit. Now, this one is totally different than the star Wormwood. I want to make that very clear so I don't want to confuse you. Then it says, and he opened the bottomless pit. And smoke arose out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace. So the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. God said, right after he said, the four that are down in the bottom of the Euphrates River, then he followed by saying, in the one that is down in the bottomless pit. Let me continue from verse 3 of Revelation 9. Then out of the smoke locusts came upon the earth, and to them was given power as the scorpions of the earth had power. They were commended not to harass the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. 
And it says, and they were not giving authority to kill them, but to torment them for five months. Their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. Verse number six of Revelation 9. It says, in those days, men will seek death and will not find it. They will desire to die and death will flee from them. Verse seven, the shape of the locust was like a horse prepared for battle. And it says there that it had on its head were crowns of something like gold and their faces were like the face of men. And then you continue, you can continue to read out. But when I went to Revelation chapter nine, God is simply confirming that soon, and I mean soon, somewhere in the near future, God is saying that that fifth angel is going to sound. And it says, I saw a star falling from heaven to the earth. To him was given the keys to the bottomless pit. Then it says in Revelation 8, verse number 5. Then the angel took the censer, verse 5 of Revelation chapter 8, filled it with fire from the altar and threw it to the earth. And there were noise, thunderings, lightnings, and earthquakes. I believe that the glory of God is saying, even as he speaks from verse number 6 of Revelation chapter 8, so the seven angels who had seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. And I want you to circle that word prepare because we did a part one and we did a conclusion to that title, Prepare, where the glory of God said to the whole world and to all of civilization and most of all, basically, to all believers to prepare because the rapture is going to happen and we're going to see the start of the tribulation period and we're going to see the Antichrist, the false prophet. They're going to establish what I'm going to say to you. The Lord said this, when I say they're going to establish, the Lord said to me before I said that, he said a covenant peace, a covenant with many. And God is speaking from Daniel 9, 24, 27. And look, lo and behold, it will be a great and sad moment, a very sad moment on the earth. If you find yourself still standing on the earth because when God spoke concerning the narrow gate he said and many will remain standing God is simply saying that there are millions millions perhaps perhaps billions that are simply not ready to what is about to come on the earth God has made this very clear that the Lord is about to rattle the world. You need to be on guard. You need to keep in mind that anyone that promotes peace, God is showing me to remind you of 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 3. They talk peace in peace and suddenly destruction. What you got coming as we go deeper into the fall in early 2025, you simply got nothing but destruction, darkness, pestilence, drought, famine, and also there is going to be hunger and starvation because I believe that the Antichrist it's about to make his presence on the world stage. I close with this one warning from God in this title, part two, Earth's final judgment. I close simply by sending you a stern warning that the grace of God said that he is about to rattle the world. I leave it right here on Catching God. May the Lord so richly bless you. Remember to click like, 
share, subscribe, hit on the bell to receive our latest telecast. And remember, I catch you on my next telecast. I'll catch and go. God bless.